guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for my wax melt box project pan thing that I'm doing. Basically I'm trying to get through all of my wax and I want to cycle some wax out and cycle some wax in because we're at that transitional stage now where it's not really sunny anymore and it's just raining which I love because it was sunny for way too long and the rain is just so refreshing and so nice. I'm not complaining about the rain but it means that I don't want to burn or melt, I guess, a sense that would remind me of like being in the sun. So I have finished some stuff, so it's not all gonna be rolled out. I've, I'm going to show you my box. This is what my box looks like now. So you can tell from the last video that I have used some stuff. This box was full the last time we spoke. So, well, the last time we did one of these videos anyway. So I'm going to like pull out the ones that I don't want to melt right now because they're too summery or they're too much like, that I would want in the sun. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this. This is the Wickford & Company Pineapple Crush. I love this scent so much, but it just, it just reminds me of sun and summer. So I'm just going to pull this out. I have the Wickford & Company Sugared Raspberry. This is okay. This is just a kind of like a generic fruity scent. So I'm gonna pull this one out because it's still full, but I have one here which only has four left. So I'm gonna keep this in for now. If I feel like it because we have this one random sunny day before the full autumn kicks in, then I'm gonna keep this for that particular reason. So this one will stay in. These ones, one of these can come out, one of these can stay in, I think. This is the Wickford & Company again. This is the pink rhubarb and pear. And this one would actually be quite nice in the rain because you'd have the refreshing rain and then the sharpness of the rhubarb. Actually, I might keep both of these in because I think I'd really enjoy that. So I'm gonna keep those ones in. And these ones are coming out because they're just way too summery. It's got like a tropical flower on it for heaven's sake. This is Wickford & Company again. This is Hawaiian Breeze. And this 100% is just straight up summer in a wax form. So these two are coming out as well. So that leaves, my box is like super empty now. I have in here that's staying in the Wax Mouse Chocolate Orange little heart thingies. They just look like this. They're staying in. And I have some gingerbread heart thingies also from the Wax Mouse, they're staying in. I have the Wild Wax Emporium. This used to have three uh, segments and now it only has the one segment in there. So I'm just gonna finish this up with that one segment and this will, will be done. I have a Yankee Candle wax tart. This is in lemon lavender. This is staying in. And this is also staying in. This is the Bees Knees Lacquer Glaciomancy Soy Wax. It just kind of smells minty but also floral. It's quite nice and would be really good in the rain. So that's going to stay in. Let's put these ones back, the ones from Wickford & Company that are staying in. And I have some wax here that I want to put in instead because my box is still pretty empty now that I've used some up but also pulled some out. So I have the Yankee Candle Sugared Blossom. I love this scent. Oh my God, this is probably my favorite Yankee Candle scent. Like there's lemon lavender and lemon lavender is like chef's kiss, but this scent is just phenomenal. I, I can't even describe it to you. It's like a sugar cookie. No, I, I can tell you exactly what it is. You, you know the, um, little flowers that you can eat that you put on cake, don't mind my swatches, that you can put on cakes and you put them on cupcakes and stuff and they kind of taste like icing but they also kind of taste like flowers at the same time. That's what this smells like, but like stronger. It just, it kind of smells like sugar, but also florals at the same time. Sugared Blossom is the perfect name for this scent. I'm just, it's phenomenal. Whenever I see this in shop, I pick one of these up. I have two more in my big box of wax that is the thumbnail of this uh, video, but this one only has two little nubs left in. So I just want to use these two nubs and this carton will be gone, but I will, be repurchasing this when I'm off my no buy. Another one of these clamshells from Yankee Candle. This is the pumpkin chai latte. This is also excellent. From now on, I'm only gonna get the Yankee Candle in this form because for whatever reason, the candles don't smell, they don't throw, they burn really badly. The votives have the same problem. I mean, they burn easier, but they still don't smell. And the wax tarts, I don't know, I don't like the consistency of them. They feel like they're really crumbly to start off with. Once you burn them once and then let it let it harden, it's fine, but the crumbly list goes away. But the initial like touching of it, it just, it irks me. This is just normal more clamshell wax melts. So I think I would only get Yankee in this form. I'm not gonna waste my money on any more of their candles anymore because they just don't work. But anyway, this pumpkin chai latte, amazing. I have five of these. I'm not even mad that I have five of these. This is an amazing scent. If I saw this again and I'm not on my no buy, 
I would definitely pick this up again as well. This is another really, really good scent from Yankee Candle in this kind of home scents wax tart form thing. But pumpkin, obviously fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it, is basically the most basic thing that you could get. I am basic apparently because I love pumpkin in the fall and I reach more towards bakery scents in the fall. So here we are, I have no regrets. This smells amazing. So this is going in. Um, some interesting ones here, because they're not all bakery ones, even though I just said I love bakery scents. I have another one of these Yankee Candle Home Inspiration clamshell things. That They changed the shape. I don't know if you can tell, this one is like square, whereas these ones are like rounded at the top. It's really weird. And I know that they changed their shape and this is an old packaging, because when I bought more of these, when I saw them in the shop, they were also square. So they've obviously just changed the packaging of the thing. But anyway, this is the coconut banana. And I don't know, on cold it doesn't smell like coconut or banana so I don't know what this is gonna be like it smells like very 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 faint perfume so I don't know yeah it's gonna be interesting uh, it, it might not be my favorite but let's just get it done because it's the time of year where I reach for more bakery so let's try it and get it done I have the Sensationals cupcake clamshell these are amazing I will always buy these from Asda the Sensational wax melts are incredible cupcake is one of my favorite scents I'm just gonna reach for it more now that we're in that period of time where I reach for more bakery stuff. I have three here that are from Black Cat Elixirs. I have Honey I'm Home, which is kind of like a honeycomb scent with kind of sandalwood musky notes to it, but it's not musky. I hate musk. I like this. It's kind of, more, it's more like man's aftershave, like that woodsy kind of rich. Do you know Old Spice? Kind of smells like Old Spice, but with honey in it. It's nice, it's really good. So I have that one. I have Nana's Orchard. That one doesn't have a description label, this one does. This one says, Orchard fruits glistening in the dappled sunlight, twisted creeper vines dance with heavily scented white floral blooms, leaving a trail of soft woods and sweet amber musk. So I thought the amber musk would be kind of warming at this time of year. And that smells really, I can't even describe it to you. I just read what it says on the thing, but at the same time, I can't describe it to you. It's light but woodsy at the same time. It's really nice. In the rain, this would be incredible. Just, it would be excellent. So I've pulled that one out. And I also have the sun washed linen, which says freshly washed clothes hanging in the summer breeze. And I know we talked about that it's not summer any, well, it is summer still technically, but the weather is changing. This one is going to be probably for those days where we have an odd day of sunshine, but I don't want to reach for something overly summery. So yeah, this one just smells like straight up like laundry detergent. I kind of go through phases of enjoying laundry detergent type scents and then other phases of like, no, I don't want to smell like that or I don't want my house to smell like that so yeah and i have three more clamshells from black cat elixirs this is the big clamshell form they this comes in like little segments these are all ones that i've started that i started in spring and then it got too hot for them not the wax themselves but like this it got too hot for that scent like it would be too overpowering overwhelming and now that it's still kind of comfortably warm but not as hot as it was. I can bring them out again very quickly before we go like full into fall. So this is Down by the Blue Water and this is Sweet Orange, Lush Fern, Jasmine, Lilac and a Rose on a warm woodsy base of amber and musk. Uh, it kind of melted, can you tell? That's how hot it was here. It's ridiculous. But it still smells good. It's very spa-like, I would say, this one. It's kind of like a combination between laundry and spa, but more on the spa end of things. It's kind of of a very sea salty kind of but refreshing and also has that laundry detergent type note to it so that's that one. And I also have the Black Cat Elixirs Soft Cotton Sheets. This one says, a fresh, clean floral fragrance with freesia, lily, jasmine, and orchard, rounded by regal iris and mimosa. These are all supported by velvet woods, sandalwood, and a hint of amber. So again, you have those woodsy type scents bringing the warmth to the whole particular thing. And this one just is also melted, but it smells like laundry detergent more than the Down by the Water one does, but it's a warmer laundry detergent than you'd say maybe burn in the spring because of that woodsy amber note to it. And this one is just straight up fruit, but it's not too fruity to have at this point in the year. It just smells like bananas to me. Bananas and mango. Um, so this is Monkey Island. This is the unique fragrance is a complex citrus blend that starts with a subtle
subtle base of vanilla, then layered with fresh kiwi, fruit, mango, and bubble gum, finished off with top notes of grapefruit, banana, and fresh strawberries. I 100% get that. Like it's, it's just straight up fruit. I mean, it's tropical fruits, but it's not a tropical fruit scent, if that makes sense. I have other scents from this in the fruity line that don't mix with this time of year, with this kind of weather, with this kind of temperature. It just doesn't work because they are too fruity. This one is, there's something to it. I don't know if it's the combination of all those different kinds of fruits makes it less fruity, but it's, or it's the banana note to it that's making it seem warmer. I'm not turned off by it from it being this time of year. I might not reach for it necessarily, but at the moment I'm not turned off from it. So I want to roll it in, maybe get some use out of it. At the moment, only one cube is gone. So this is another one that suffered the effects of the warm weather that we had. To be honest, I didn't think that it was that hot in here, but then I wasn't sitting in here because I wanted to be in the coolest room in the flat and that was in the living room because it was that hot. So I kind of didn't realize how hot it actually got in here, but it's melted the top layer, but it's not like caused them any the damage so it's fine and that concludes what is going to be in my wax box until either the box is empty or until we move more into like the winter and Christmassy and I have some pine ones I have some Christmas scented ones I have some cinnamon scented stuff oh I'm both excited for fall because it's my favorite season but at the same time really excited for Christmas and that's just because I'm basically a Christmas elf uh, I love Christmas 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 is the best holiday in my opinion, apart from Halloween. Halloween is the best holiday, but it's not a holiday in this country. So the best holiday day is 100% straight up. Christmas is just the best. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my wax choices. What wax are you burning right now? I'd love to hear about the kinds of scents that you're reaching for, whether I'm in the minority that I still want to burn something that's really that fruity. But yeah, let me know. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye.